Hi, this is Dr. Moore, and today we're going to talk about orthotics. Now, traditionally, there's only two categories, temporary versus a more permanent custom molded orthotic. They're made, the temporary ones, that is, they're made out of different materials, usually mold to the foot over time. They have a limited time span, uh, but do a great job. But uh, most of the patients want the end game, which is a custom molded permanent orthotic. And I like to use the plaster molding technique. There is a laser, there is also a foam impression type of mold. I think they do a great job, but I like the way that this gives the patient an exact mold held in a position. Uh, we send ours to a lab that makes a polypropylene, which is a thermal molded plastic product that flexes, so it's more of a dynamic device. Holds the arch up, but it still can flex. The two models are one of the thinner models for my athletes, also my female patients. We can make these for a smaller shoe and a heel, and this is the more stable product that we'll show you up close in a minute uh, to stabilize the shoe inside of a boot or a different type of sporting event. Here's a close-up of the devices. They're made of polypropylene. This is a thermal molded plastic that is flexible. As you can see, if you put a little weight on it, it'll flex. And we can do a shell with a non-skid and with a half device, it will stay in the shoe. It'll go into the shoe and actually stay in the shoe. And then if you need a little bit of heel control for people who have flattening or pronated feet, uh, we can put a post in. And this post basically stops the patient from pronating. If this is the arch and the left foot, stops the patient from pronating inwards this way. So a heel post, and they're really good for snow skis, inline skates, uh, things where the patient has to have their foot flat sport-wise uh, and not move around in the shoe or boot. They don't uh, do poorly in other shoes, uh, but for a certain type of tight cleats, uh, things of that nature, it's a little bit bulky, um, and we go to the tapered model. Very, very easy. Casting technique is literally old school. We have some plaster here, and basically with a little bit of water, uh, you get it wet, bring it around the back of the foot, and of course, the arch supports are designed to keep the patient in what we call the neutral position. And a neutral position is when the foot is neither inverted nor everted, or should I say, locked or unlocked and what that happens is that the foot in that position will not only do well but the structures don't get strained so they won't get as many plantar fasciitis problems also we use these for heel spurs um, this young gentleman we're doing for uh, metatarsal pain on the top of the foot here and a, and a tendon called the posterior tibial tendon on the inside and when he's held in a neutral position, the foot basically locks. So now that I have the plaster on, he's ready to be molded for the device I showed you. What happens next is they're manufactured in a place uh, where they have a top cover and they've told me that these devices never wear out. So a lot of my athletes wear them. Again, supination is a lock foot this is an unlocked foot, so we cast the patient in the neutral level here where the whole leg is locked up and the foot doesn't move and it doesn't go to the side. So that's where we're keeping the patient neutral. And again, he can switch these from shoe to shoe to shoe.